Well, we begin tonight as the suspect in that shooting at a Post Falls gas station appeared in Kootenai County Court today. Law enforcement says Tyson Sturkel shot and injured two people at that gas station and now faces 12 charges, including aggravated battery and aggravated assault. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now with what we know so far in this developing story. Kootenai County Court documents say Tyson Sturkel admitted he shot at people at this Post Falls gas station yesterday afternoon, but he didn't know if he actually hit anyone. Now, court docs say he also indicated to police who interviewed him that he thought he was being followed. We received copies of surveillance video from the gas station where the shooting happened. Investigators referenced this video in court documents as well. They identified Tyson Sturkel as the man in the gray sweatshirt carrying a rifle. You can see him hide behind a power box on the north side of the building and take aim at the pumps. Court documents say he shot several rounds at people. One round hit a man in the neck and another man in the leg. One witness told police another shot popped her tire. Within minutes, the suspect drove off. Investigators say he later stole a truck and then carjacked another truck after threatening the victim at gunpoint. In Sturkel's first appearance this afternoon, a prosecutor explained why she believes a $2 million bond is a reasonable request. This was obviously a case where he chose to act in this way, um, chose to hurt a lot of members of our community. The judge ended up setting the bond at $2 million. Court docs say Sturkel told police he did not know why he shot at people and thought something inside of him snapped. So I've been able to be with him by his side for most of it. Dominique Shepard is the wife of the man who was shot in the neck. She says Jacob is stable and recovering in the hospital. Her cousin created a GoFundMe account to cover medical bills. Gosh, I'm not sure if Jake's will be back at work at all anytime soon. We just want to thank everyone for their generosity and the outpouring of love and um, messages and all the food and all the things that people have sent our way. Investigators noted in court documents today that this is still an active and very fluid investigation, still with many unknowns in this case. We'll, of course, keep you updated as this story develops. Reporting in Post Falls, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.